Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and it's here! It's finally here, the Tyrannus x Lite. It is real. So in this video, we're just going to take a look. I'm going to give you a first overview, show you a couple things, and what I'm going to do is do a whole series on the x Lite. There's going to be a lot of things that people are going to want to see, and I think I'm going to break those into separate videos and knock them all out into a playlist, because people are going to look for specific things and might not want to sit through a whole half hour video of how to do everything. So in this video, we're just going to do an overview, but let's take a look at the box. This is the box. What's inside the box? This is what's in the box, and it was totally unexpected. I didn't, I don't know why, I just didn't expect it to come with a case, and it's a really nice case. It does have some straps here, so if you want to hook a shoulder strap to it to carry it around, but it's a nice, small, portable case that I actually like a lot. Sometimes I don't have a lot of room. Like when I'm going on vacation, I might need to keep things really small and the big radios might be too much. So I'm hoping this will be really nice and I like the case that will protect it. Now this is not a true unboxing. I have taken it out of the box. It was shrink wrapped. There was a little more foam in it. I don't think you actually need this foam because it does come with gimbal protectors on it, which is really nice. It comes with, I kind of like this. There's a thumb slot here to be able to take it out because first my first instinct was to grab a hold of the gimbals and pull. And I don't think that's a good idea. I like this thumb slot. Makes it really easy to put out. So this is the first real feel of it. Um, and I'm going to say it has a nice feel. It doesn't feel as small as like an Xbox controller. The grip on the back is rubberized and has a really nice silky feel. The size for I'm a thumber, I'm not a pincher, but I think, let's see, I mean for a thumber it's definitely made for this, but with my hands it would be hard trying to get the far corners. It's, it's kind of tough. If I grab a hold of it here with my wrists, Maybe I think it's really I think it's really made for thumbers. I have no problem there. And the gimbals feel really good. Now they're new, but they are Hall Effect gimbals. I was a little concerned the throw wouldn't feel very nice, but it is um, it's pretty good. We have, we'll do a full comparison side by side with the other radios at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna say the gimbals feel nice. Now you'll notice they both center, so we will have a session on how to set that up because it just comes kind of neutral you can decide if you want it to be mode one or mode two. The part I thought was gonna be a deal breaker for me when I first saw it were the switches because I think we only saw one set of switches and it's like, that's just gonna be awkward, it's not gonna work. But whether that was wrong or they have added another set of switches, we have two sets of switches and we have two-way switches here and here. And we have three-way switches here. And I'm gonna say that's gonna work for me. So I'm probably gonna do arm here, which is really nice. So if I need to, I can just flip off and disarm really fast. And then I've got my modes, so I can do my uh, angle, horizon, acro, and I don't have to, I can do that and reach it. I thought, they, I was afraid they were gonna be awkward, but I'm gonna say they feel, listen to it, can you hear that? They're loud, they have a really satisfying click to them. I'm really happy with those, the way they feel. They're also, I didn't realize it was gonna have these at all. Um, we do have dials. I don't think I'll ever use them. They don't have center points. I prefer center points when I do use them. And they kind of they kind of feel sloppy. They feel really, really loose and sloppy. There is also, while we're here, an antenna connector. There you go, you pull that off and there's a spot for an antenna connection. Not exactly sure where that's gonna come in yet if you'll ever want that. It does not come with an antenna for that. So you may need it, you may not. Um, I'm sure we'll find out more about that later. That'll be one of the playlist videos, I'm sure. On the bottom here, we have a headphone jack. I don't know if that's used for tethering or not. One of the things I'm super excited about with this is that it will do um, wireless trainer mode. So I will use this with my QX7S. I'm really looking forward to that. We do have an SD card slot. It does not come with an SD card. That will cover that in another video. Micro USB, they finally made the switch and then a servo connector here. So we've got a servo connection. This comes in red or black. I bought the black mainly because as soon as they were available, I bought it as fast as I could. I didn't want to take any chance. And that was the one that came up first. The thumbs, let's see, these are removable. So these will be swappable. I don't know if they're compatible with the other uh, thumb connectors from the other radios. I kind of doubt it is. But they're, they're not bad. They're not as big as what I have on my other radios, but they're better than the stock non-Hall Effect gimbal. So I think those will work for me really nicely. On the back, we have some open screw holes. So these are what we'll use to set the modes. We'll cover that in another video here. Here is the 
connector bay, so it's very different. It's not a JR compatible bay by any means. So that just kind of slides off there are the pins and you'll slide a module on there. I think I'm probably gonna have to pick one of those up just to try it. it snaps on, so I don't have any fear of that coming off accidentally though, which is kind of nice. Batteries connect in here. So these little knobbers twist off and I will show you some previews here. So these are the batteries I'm using right now. I've got a whole bunch of different kinds that I'm gonna be testing. I will have a full battery shootout, but I wanted to show you these and they go in. So this is the positive side. There's a plus on here. And on both sides, the positive side goes in and the flat side will go on the bottom. That is the same on both of them. And then these twist on. So. There you go, and you get it lined up, and twist that on. Same deal for the other side. And they go on pretty nice. I'm curious, I bet somebody makes some expansions for these. You see there's screws here, so this plate could actually come off. Somebody could conceivably make 3D printable extensions that would fit and twist and screw on here pretty easily. And then you could use your 18650s, because if you didn't notice, this is an 18500, so it's a shorter cell. Uh, you could fit in and have some kind of extension and make this work, but by default, it, your 18650s are not going to work. I actually bought this charger for my 18650s for a shootout that I've got coming for those, and I'll use it for the 500. I will link this down below. This is the one that I recommend. There's also a four port version, I think, also, but you really, I only need the two. This one is really, really nice. So, I've got batteries in, I've got them charged. We'll hold down. It's like the QX7 after the upgrade. You notice we have no audio. That's because there's no SD card in there. We just have a beep. So, throttle not idle. Fail safe not set, all set there. So we're gonna have to go through and set up the modes and the radio and all kinds of stuff. We'll, we'll handle those in different videos, but I wanted to give you the overview of this here. The screen resolution is really, really good. I'm, I'm just really happy with how it looks. Now, one of the tricks here that you're gonna run into is how do I get into my model settings? So it's not over here. You're gonna look and this is actually your trim. So your trim buttons are here well, using this stick which just seems odd. So I'll show you here. You have this little stick and you hold it left to go into the menu. So here's where we'll go through and set that all up in a, another video and we go through and go back and forth for the pages and then you exit with this button here and then you hold it to the right and you go into your models. So this is where you'll set up your models there. And this is a click button. It's not quite as handy as the dial but I think it's better than the buttons on the uh, X90. So it will definitely work. So that's where we'll go through and create a model and it has all the stuff that you would expect, all the same deal. So it's running OpenTX. Everything that it has is exactly the way you would expect it to be. So here we go, here's the one question. It is running OpenTX 222, so that will work. Eventually this will get added to the OpenTX versions on OpenTX University and those kind of things. So you'll be able to do updates. So you just push that button to exit back out. The other button doesn't do anything. So there we go. There's a first look. You hold down the button again and it will go down and it will it does vibrate. But you know what? I didn't think I thought this was going to be a toy. Like I'd probably let my son use it. I am having a hard time figuring out a reason I wouldn't just use this all the time quite a bit. Um, for the price, we'll see how the gimbals do once I get them adjusted. I'll see how the throw is, but I'm really, really happy with it. One deal breaker may be uh, I, there's not a good way to attach it, a lanyard to it. So if you want to hang it from your neck like some people do, I end up leaving those off anyway because I'm doing review videos and it just gets in the way and it gets in the way of the camera. So I've taken them off and I've just never put them back on. I don't worry about that. If I was flying all day, it would be a bigger deal. But you know what? I, I am really happy with this. I like it a lot. I want to see everything that it will do. Okay, a few more things before we call it a wrap. It does come with a printed copy of the manual. I looked online and the manual online is exactly the same. It doesn't include anything extra and it has the details for the stuff you need to know. It includes some stickers, which are great. And it includes the screws and then the covers for the back plates. And this is how we'll set up the modes in a uh, future video coming very, very soon. This is definitely gonna be Tyrannus week. We're gonna be full of Tyrannus x Light videos. And a little thing, a heat shrink. I have no idea what that is supposed to be for. Hmm, hmm. Okay, if you know what the heat shrink's for, let me know.
So there we go. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see something about this that I haven't mentioned yet. We'll cover the batteries, we'll cover the modes, we'll cover the SD card slot, we'll cover the wireless training. What else do you want to see? So until next time, remember, it's X-Lite week on Drone Racer 101.